Welcome, folks. This is Dwarf Fortress Episode 24, Craft Riddle. This is Callisto 8413, and this is Late Spring. And there has been some uh, things I've been doing to change how the the village, that's our name now, we now have a village, that's our new ranking, has been uh, set up. Um, first of all, our mayor was becoming cuckoo. He was really having issues. So uh, Gopher is no longer our mayor. Um, he did get elected to that position, but he was really having problems handling it. So Gopher is now our broker. The mayor is now Luther. I don't know. It's a, it sounds like an elf name. A married guy, second wave. He's now the mayor and the manager and the bookkeeper. He has no skills at any of those. Within a year, he'll be going crazy. But but within a year. We'll have another election and we'll put somebody else in there. You also might have noticed we have a lot of militia now. Now, everybody's complaining about not getting enough social life, not getting enough crafts. They want to do crafts. They want to make something wonderful and own something, not getting enough military. So what we did military-wise, so the Rhythms of Theater were our first squad. I think the Earth... Then Takers is our uh, Tin Star. Yeah, that's our uh, city guard. The others are all the other adults in this city. They've all been set up to be wrestlers. And their schedule is in such a way that the first squad, our serious squad, uh, you know, they work three times. There's Basically, there's 12 months. Every two months... Three of the serious guys work, and then the third month, all ten of them get together to learn about discipline and working together and all that. Everybody else, it's like an exercise. Uh, exercise, uh, gym exercise, you know, working together. Basically, for 12 months, there's two slots each month. Ten squad uh, members, which means about every squad member gets about two to four times drilling a year. So by the end of the year, they've got to learn something. They've had to learn something. Dodging, striking, uh, shield bashing, whatever. Because each of the wrestlers, each of these squads have been signed wrestlers and they've been given armor or a shield and a helm. Uh, not a helm, you know, a hat, whatever. Uh, the problem is we don't have enough equipment. So it's, they'd slowly have to build up their, you know, uh, put on their equipment uh, over the years that have to collect them. But by the end of the year, that means they would have learned something, and that means they wouldn't complain as much. Also, we have ordered the construction of more workshops. The idea being, I've enabled almost all the skills. Uh, the only things that are usually in conflict are if you're a miner, a, a woodcutter, and a hunter. Those are in conflict. You can't be all three of those. But everybody else is everything else. And I've ordered the construction of extra workshops so one workshop will be for the common folk anybody who wants to do anything could go and and make a, a you know this or that or the other another workshop will be for the skilled and higher basically your ability to do crafts is rated from like say one to a hundred and depending on where you are you're getting a certain you know description like legendary or dabbling or skilled. Skilled's like 50% up that. So basically for every workshop anybody could use, any unskilled laborer can use, there's a workshop that only the very skilled could use. So you're going to get some beds that are magnificent, elegant beds. Then you're going to have some beds that are logs on their side with a little thing scooped out. And you're going to get helicopters. I can hear it. Maybe you can't. But also, so at the end of the year, People goes, hey, I made this cup. Hey, I made this bed. It's crappy, and we'll probably won't be able to trade it for much. But hey, I made it. So I've done that. So I've tried to deal with, you know, uh, the issue of our mayor going crazy. I tried the issue of everybody complaining about they're not getting, they're not learning anything about the military arts. And I've made it so that now everybody could craft any time they feel like it. If there's a job that needs to be done and you're close to the workshop and you have that skill activated, you could do it. It might be a crappy cup. It might be a horrible doorway. But you can make it. No more complaining. And when I unpaused the game, half of them went fishing. 
fish, 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 return kill. Fish, 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 fish. All right. I hate you. I Not you guys, not, not the watchers. I hate you dwarves. I'm waggling my finger at the screen right now. I unpaused it, and half of them went up here. And they're shooting at a poor, defenseless otter, too. I think they've killed one otter. There's another one in the water, and they, they've shot at it. That's where there's blood. There's all a whole bunch of fish in the air, too. I think the otters would try to fish. and I like otters in real life, so I'm a little disappointed with these guys. Then we got an announcement. A where capra the That's a... Is, is that the big rodent? I don't know. All I know is that he's come to kill us all. Ironically, he's already gotten in fight with a otter, I think. Who took out his left... Yeah, there's an otter under him. I think the otter got killed by the werebeast. And now the dwarves are coming to collect the otter, which is pretty stupid. Now... If this was a normal game, not be recorded, I think I would have raged quit right now. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. Between the fishing and the werebeast, I've had worse. But, yeah. Um, so I actually have two options. The first one is, everybody's in the military, why don't I just tell them to charge? That's a bad option. They're unskilled. Many of them don't have any weapons. Many of them will be carrying their children with them when they go in to attack that beast. And if they do happen to kill it, many of them will end up being wounded and I'll have to cage them up or, or wall them up and see if they turn into werebeasts in a month, which means a lot of them will probably die. Alternatively, the second option, tell them all to run for the fortress. Not all of them will make it. Werebeasts are really fast. Think the Flash from DC Comics or the the uh, DC uh, movies or television series. They will run around like a cat among mice. But a lot of these guys will make it to the fortress. Also, the second option means a lot of those people already in the fortress will stay there. And then I can move the uh, soldiers to the area here where they can set up a ambush for the werebeast. And when the last civilian who's not been killed gets in there, I can lock the hatches there. And the werebeast will have to break through those to get to the guys. And once he breaks through the first one, I could you know, I could set up the second second row. So he has to stay there and fight the soldiers and hopefully whatever dog showed up. I'm assuming the second option is going to be this one for survival of this village. I'm not looking forward to this, just like I didn't look forward to the other one. And you're going to say, oh yeah, but only a few died and you actually got two of the soldiers and you have better soldiers now. Yes, but there's also a lot of people out here. A lot of my dwarves are out here on the, for uh, the, the surface. Not as many as there could be. I think there's a lot of them in here. But, yeah, because a lot of them came to do their training. But I'm really pissed at these guys. I'm really pissed at I, I It's just, you all went fishing. You all went fishing. You complained about not having crafts, not socializing with your family, not doing the military. And those of you who had the military, now in the military, some of you have gone to train, that's okay. But those of you who complain about not socializing, those of you who complain about not having a craft, not having enough work, what do you do? You go out and fish. You stupid bastards deserve to die. Many a game I have quit because I felt sympathy for the dwarves or the children or whatever. You guys deserve to be massacred on the next episode. And that's what episode 25 will be. Me unpausing the game after giving them the commands to run home while giving the military the command to station themselves in the entry tunnel. And we will slowly, inch by inch, second by second, follow what is going to be a <sighs> craft riddle massacre, probably. But at least only the stupid ones died. And that donkey, I'm not sure what that is. Is that a... It's a duck. 
It's a cat. Oh, I don't like it when the cats die. They do put up a fight, though. I mean, that otter obviously put up a fight. Otherwise, that guy wouldn't have a... Uh... I mean, that... Where is it? I hate it when I can't find these things. There it is. Yeah, it obviously put up a fight. I mean, it, it killed the otter. Uh, can I do this without unpausing? Okay. Can I do this without unpausing? Yes. Yeah, so the otter... Uh, oh, wow. Oh, okay. I throw the sea otter by left teeth with... Oh, wow. Oh, oh, it kicked it. It slammed it. It died. Uh, sea otter, sea otter misses. Oh, wow. Sea otter. Oh, oh. It really just... Um, I don't even think... How did they... Uh, uh, ooh. Okay, yeah. It basically ripped the sea otter apart. But I'm not sure how this... The actual... How did you get your left... Your right lower leg and your left lower arm cut open? Well, if it's already wounded, that should help when the soldiers... When it chase tries to chase down people, but... We're going to stop, save, I'll edit this, well I won't edit it, there's nothing really to edit, it's me just babbling, um, and then you guys will have to wait for the next episode, because that episode is going to be incredibly frustrating, and it's going to take me a while to do it, because I just really don't want to watch all these dwarves die. On the other hand, if they survive, and in the next few episodes we could get the walls up, and we could get the stone from the shipment, and put up gate uh, draw bridges and gates and all that I can really kind of end this episode this series because if I do make a fortress made out of wood in the middle of nowhere that actually can defend itself actually protect itself actually could uh, with all its little uh, issues and, and flaws you know survive and thrive then I think I've I've completed this little island challenge. But if I ever do make a new world for a dwarf fortress, I am going through the uh, details. I'm going through all the little information, and I am taking out werebees and vampires. Well, probably just werebees. Uh, I I really sick. They are really too many of them, and they overpower. You know, sometimes you just want to uh, do uh, architecture. Sometimes you just want to try to do. Uh, city planning and projects and having a werebee show up and kill everybody that kind of defeats that uh, I don't mind when armies show up to be honest but werewolves and vampires really kind of spoil the fun as they usually do and this need to fish oh my god come on this needs to be fixed um, but yeah well we're going to end it here uh, thank you for uh, watching to me babble uh, if you don't know if you ever want to play Dwarf Fortress based on my series, please remember, I'm not the best person at this. I also picked a very difficult embarkment, considering my lack of skills when it comes to getting through a uh, aquifer. But there are other people out there who do a lot better at playing the game and showing how fun it could be, because this game is a story maker it really does do the story for you if I were to play this game I could actually write a novel based on some of the events in many of my games so and I have written short stories for other websites and such so you know I, I would suggest it's a free game too I'd point out it's just the most complicated game on the planet and I'm not joking also it's only about 50% done 48% done. Uh, it'll probably be a few more years. They still have things to do. Uh, boats have yet to be invented. And uh, magic systems being worked on. And right now they are doing a villain system too. Uh, criminal organizations will be in the next uh, update. So, But uh, that's, that's another day or another year, another decade, whatever. Uh, like I said, I'll see you in episode 25 when the massacre begins. Bye-bye.